Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title today, we are going to be talking about Yes, it's as heavy as it looks. So a couple of weeks ago, I went to LA to a master class by Mario and he is also Kim Kardashian's makeup artist and Anastasia Beverly Hills was there. So we're just gonna talk about it and the experience that I had and we're gonna go through the swag bag that I got. Um, so if you wanna watch that and are interested in learning about the class and what's in this bag, stick around. All right, so I took everything out of the bag, laid it all out on the table just to make it easier for us to go through so I'm not like digging through the bag. I haven't really been through this since I've been home. I've used a couple of things, but not many. I was trying to save it so I could film it and we could go through it together. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. So I went to the master class um, in February, the first of February in LA. Um, it was Mario, it was um, Kim Kardashian, and Anastasia Beverly Hills was there. Um, so what happens here is basically you buy a ticket of different levels and then you go to the class. So depending on what ticket you have, you get a certain swag bag and you get to either meet Mario, you can meet Kim, um, have your picture made with them, all of this fun kind of stuff. So there's about 1,600 people that attended the class I think is what I heard. Um, it was really nice. Um, you get there, although I did have to wait in line for about an hour to get in, which was kind of sucky, but at least it wasn't raining outside and it was a nice pretty day in LA. So you go in, you take a seat, and at first when you walk in, we were handed this little master class notebook. Now it did come with a pen, and where that pen is, I do not know. So that way you could take like notes and stuff whenever you were in class. Um, I wrote a few things down, but it was a little dark in there and I couldn't see. So. I only wrote just a couple of things. So Mario comes out, he talks, then Kim comes out, um, and then Anastasia came out and did her brows, and then she went and sat in the audience. There were a couple of more um, big influencers there um, that they kind of sat in the front row, but um, we're just gonna talk about my experience and go through the stuff that I got, and so, yeah. So we're just gonna get started with, um, I guess the first stuff that's in front of me the closest. So Anastasia did give us a separate bag inside the swag bag. We also got a glow kit. We got a Brow Wiz, um, and then I got a soft glam palette that I did give to my mom because I already had one. So um, I was really surprised. That's a really good amount of money just to be giving away. Um, so I thought that was really generous of her. Um, the next stuff we got, we're going to go through a little bit of some of my favorites. So of course we got the Tatcha Silk Canvas Pore Feeling Primer, which I already do have one of these, but it's back in Mississippi where I somewhat live and then um so i'm going to use this one and then we got to be the first recipients of the tatcha dewy skin cream so this is kind of like the tatcha dewy skin mist that is in the little spray bottle but it is in a cream and it looks like this and it is heaven on earth like i have been using this for about a week and i promise you the first night i used it i was like this is just money this is just the best stuff it smells good it's got like an um, a lavender type smell. It's also purple in color uh, and it's so hydrating and it's just wonderful. So just to tell you a little bit about that because it's been one of my favorite products. So next we did get um, quite a few lipsticks here. I'm not going to go through all of them but L'Oreal. Um, we have number seven. We have some um, Laura Mercier. So I haven't even tried any of these out. So we got a handful of lipsticks in our bag. I'm just like throwing them on the on the floor so I'll have enough room up here. Um, and then I will have to say Laura Mercier was quite the gifter as well. We did get the um, foundation primer from her. We also got um, a color corrector um, from her. And then we got some face illuminator. So I have not even opened these or tried these yet, but I love Laura Mercier stuff, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to like these. So I tried to keep this stuff in like face and then, you know, like skincare powder order, but you know, sometimes it's going to just jump around. We also got the MAC Dazzle Shadow Liquid. It's just like a, um, in a little, um, I can't even think of the name of it. A little doe foot applicator. You pull it out. It's got some, um, it looks like a little silver, kind of like the Urban Decay, um, heavy metals that they have. Haven't tried that out yet. We got a sleek eyeshadow palette. 
We also got a Milani Gilded Desire eyeshadow palette here. So, I do have one of the Milani palettes. I don't have that one, but I do have one, and they are actually really good. It's hard to find good um, drugstore eyeshadow makeup, and the Milani's, if I'm going to recommend one, that would be it. Um, we did get a couple of hair things. I have not wore this one. I couldn't even figure it out in the hotel. All I know is you tie it around your head some way, and then you make, like, bunny ears or something, but I just... Ain't nobody got time for that. I just put a clip in and I'm done. Um, next thing, we did get a couple of little cute scrunchies, which are really good for your hair because they're not like tight and pulling on your hair like a ponytail holder would. So I'm going to try those out as well. For the body, we got some Sally Hansen Illuminator and some Body Blur. You know, it was funny because I was going to buy some of this Body Blur, and then I saw, um, usually on the Masterclass Instagram stories, they will post, um, like during the weeks heading up to the class, they post like who their sponsors are going to be. They don't necessarily tell you exactly what you're going to get, but it's going to say like um, Laura Mercier, and it'll have a couple of their products. So you could get one of their products, or you could get another. It just doesn't say, but at least you know what companies are sponsoring. So. I almost bought some of this, but then I saw that they were going to sponsor the class, so I waited and got my little sample. So, I haven't tried it yet, but I will. Um, next, we did get um, a little bit of, uh, this is an anti-frizz hair sheets from Way. I've not tried these out yet. They look pretty cool, and I've got some frizzy hair, but since I've been in California, the weather's amazing, and I don't really have to worry about the frizzy hair. We also got some, oh, we're going to save those for later. These need to go in the skincare pile. So we did get a Morphe palette, like a full Morphe palette. I haven't used this yet, but we're going to open it here on camera and see what it looks like. Let's see. I do have a lot of Morphe eyeshadows and, oh, you can see my ring light reflection in there. These are pretty cool. Morphe eyeshadows are great. I do have the Jaclyn Hill palette, which I use all the time. So I was really excited to get some Morphe eyeshadows. And please excuse the kids screaming in the background. They're outside my window. So moving on, um, we did get some It Cosmetics. This is like a, um, I think it's a blush, a highlighter, and a bronzer. I have not used this yet as well. But I did have some It Cosmetics. These things are so hard to open. Um, an It Cosmetics mascara that was really good. So this is what it looks like there. Um, I am planning on trying this out. I was just waiting till I filmed this video till I tried it out. Stick it back in this box and I will be trying this out in the morning. So moving on. Yes, there is more stuff. So we did get some Hoola bronzer, which I do have some of this and I do love it. So this is great to have a backup. We also got some Cargo Blush, which I've never heard of this company before, but it is little um, blushes in these cute little tins. I think it's blush. If I remember correctly, they look like this. Got the big C on the front of it. And then the blush is on the inside. So I'm excited to try these out. I've been kind of getting more into blush recently. Um, I just have a couple of favorites that I stick to all the time, but these are going to be fun to try out. So we did get some lashes. Now I did use two or three pair already, but we've got some kiss lashes. We've got some kiss kiss and kiss. Oh, they're all kiss lashes looks just like this and those are really good um, we got some uh, setting spray the Scandinavia is that how you pronounce it Scandinavia setting spray I had heard a lot about this from like Nikki tutorials and other people on YouTube and heard that it was really good so I, I have been using this and I do really like it and the pumps not bad so that makes it better we also got some number seven pore minimizing primer, pore primer base, and some radiance boosting primer. I sound all nasally. I'm sorry. I've been sick. Just ignore it. So we did get a couple of these. I have not tried any number seven um, makeup before. I did get some lipstick, and so I'm looking forward to trying that. We're going to keep going. I also got some... Um, Beauty Blender Foundation. This did come with a Beauty Blender on the inside, but I have taken it out and used it. So just keep that in mind. You get um, three samples of foundation and a Beauty Blender as well. I have heard really good things about this foundation from Tati on um, Tati, like I know her. I don't love, her. don't know her, but I do love you, Tati. Would like to know you, but anyway, we also have some Dawn Patrol Classic Primer. Never heard of it. Hadn't tried it yet. But plan on it. We got two different types of face powder. We've got some Derma Blend powder and some Cody Airspun powder. Now I do have some Cody Airspun. It's okay. It's 
cheap it's good it's okay for uh, the price you can get it at walmart it has um you know some translucent extra covers and they do have some i believe that have a little bit of color to it but it stinks so bad like i just can't even like that's one reason i don't use it because i just can't deal with the smell of it now if it's the only thing i had to use i would just suck it up but the powder is good if you can get past the like old lady smell i know that's terrible so we also got, which I can say because I'm an old lady, um, we also got some um, Ollie, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. Um, this is uh, Restful Sleep and Undeniable Beauty. So one is for hair, skin, and nails, and the other one is for um, to help you sleep. Now, I used to take melatonin a lot to help me sleep, and this does have melatonin in it, so I have tried these two. It will knock you out for like two hours, and then you're like wide awake. That's at least that's the way it does me. And they kind of have like a licorice taste. So if you don't mind that, I guess they're okay. I haven't tried the hair and nails yet. But me and my husband both tried the purple ones. And we were both like staring at each other at like 3 o'clock one morning. Like, hmm. Well, at least we got two hours of sleep. So moving on. We've got a lot of cleansers. So we've got the Best Makeup Brush Cleaner. Um, haven't tried it. Like I said, you should put your little brush in there. Clean it around. Whew. Very pine saw smelling. Whoa, good grief. I guess it make your brush clean. We also got some um, makeup wipes, which I have tried because um, I had to use them for another makeup class that I have. Um, we also got some, good grief. Uh, what is this? Hyaluronic Acid Mineral Rich Water from the same company. So, never heard of this company. I don't even know how to say it. Vichy, V-I-C-H-Y, uh, yeah, that's what it, that, we're just going to spell it. So, we got this in the bag. We also got, we got a lot of, um, like, cleaning, like, face products. So, we also got some Elemis Makeup Remover right there. Just zipping through these because there's so much stuff. We also got the Glow Hydro Derma something. Let me get that out of my face so the light will shine. Sorry. Um, makeup Remover right there. What else do we get? I'm just going to... Um, Radiant Firming Mask. I'm not going to try to butcher that name either. Let's see if it'll... Come on, pick up, pick up, camera, pick up. There we go. And we also got some Karma and Kit Face Mask Set here. So there's a lot of face, like, cleaning, you know, skincare in here. We got some charcoal brush... What is that? Brush cleaner stick. Okay, that's from Sephora. Never seen that one before. And winding it down, we've got some skin skin cuticle. Oh, good lord, skin cuticles. This is like a some sort of oil antioxidant treatment. Blah blah blah. So for your face. And the last couple of things, we got the. Mm, why are this stuff like all like foreign? Like I can't read any of it. Swiss line. By Dermalab. I'm not really sure what this is, but we will read and find out. We also have some All Day Hydrator from Sephora. And the last little thing is some Hot and Dry Climate. What is, oh, Day Cream. So that is a little bit of Day Cream right there. So it is quite a bit. I mean, you do kind of pay for some of it. Now, we're going to kind of get into the uh, little tea the little issues and some of the things that I was happy about some of the things that I was like oh really about you know so because I want you guys to have know what you're getting into before you spend the money so when I went um when I was going to go last year I was going to go to the one in New York but I was going to I was in Mississippi so I was going to have to pay for the plane ticket I was going to have to pay for the makeup class ticket the hotel and it just got to be like I was like you know I'm just not going to spend that much money for a makeup class but since I'm close to LA now, so I just drove and ended up, you know, spending a couple of nights in LA. I would have to spend a couple of nights, but I did another class, which you will be getting a video on that the next day after I did the master class. Anyway, so I got online to purchase the tickets around Christmas time, and my ticket was the platinum ticket, which was nine hundred dollars. I know, I know, I thought the same thing, but. Once in a lifetime opportunity, when am I ever going to be this close to LA again? When am I going to get to go take this this high of a level makeup class? So I bit the bullet. I bought the $900 ticket. Now, that included 
um, the you know you got a certain area that you could sit in. You've got the swag bag. You got the the food. You got a certain time you could go in for the entrance and a picture with Mario. This did not include a picture with Kim Kardashian or Anastasia Beverly Hills. That ticket was seventeen hundred dollars. Now. I like Kim and all, but I'm not paying that much extra money to get my picture made with her. I was really there for the makeup class. She was just a plus that came along, so I opted to go for the platinum, which was totally fine. So we go, we have the makeup class, you know, and so like I said, on Instagram, they have all of these stories that tell you, hey, um, this is who's sponsoring the class. This is some of the makeup that you're going to get. So I was really excited because I don't own any KKW Beauty. And I was like, great, she's a sponsor. Well, of course, she had to be a sponsor. But it did advertise that she was a sponsor for the class. Um, so I was, you know, that night when I got, you know, back to the hotel, I'm like laying all my stuff out on the bed. And I'm like, where's my KKW Beauty? Like, you know, not to say that I'm not grateful for all the stuff that I have, but I did expect a Kim Kardashian, you know, product in my bag since she was like probably 99% of the reason why half the people went. So, um, so I'm digging around, digging around, and I found a coupon. That's what I said, a coupon. So I'm reading the coupon, and I was so... <laughs> I hate, to, I hate to say this, but I was so mad after, like, figuring out what it was. I ended up throwing it in the trash, which I wish I could have kept it so I could have showed it to you guys. But I did text one of my friends that I met there, and I was like, did you get any KKW booty, or did you get a coupon? And so she was like, I got a coupon, too. So coupons are great if you can use them. So this coupon was for the pop-up shop that she had that was... Like, it's not even in my reach. It wasn't in L.A., and I can't even remember the city, but it's outside of L.A. And, you know, a pop-up shop, they don't stay there forever, you know. I had to come back to work, so I couldn't go to the pop-up shop. So the coupon was for the pop-up shop, and it was while supplies last for, like, a lip gloss. Really? A coupon? Like... I, I would just settle for like an eyeliner or a lip liner or something, not even a lipstick. But I was a little upset that I didn't have any KKW Beauty in my bag and I could not use the coupon. And you can't even like, you couldn't even go online and redeem it. It was literally like you could go to this one spot and use the coupon if there's any supplies left. So... That is my rant for today about the KKW Beauty product that I did not get in my bag. So I just kind of thought there would be one. I'm very grateful for all the things that I got. But it has been a little bit of a sore spot when I think about the coupon that I was sent. And then I also want to say there was a coupon for perfume, one of her perfumes in there. But it was only like a 30% off coupon. I ended up throwing them away. Like I said, I wish I could have kept, I wished I would have kept them to show you guys, but you know, hindsight 50 50. So, yeah. And then you do get the bag that's on the floor that's now full of product, somewhat, um, which is a pretty nice bag. And it's got the masterclass. Sorry, mine's a little dirty. It's been traveled, it's been used a little bit on there. And then it's got Mario's name. It's a really nice, uh, sturdy bag. All the products came in it. Um, I did have a great time and I was so glad that I went. It was a great experience getting to see how he did things. He's a very talented makeup artist. He does things completely different than you watch on YouTube videos. He's such a, like, I call him like a mixologist. He's always like mixing things and mixing colors and using things for other things. Like he used some like color corrector for eyeshadow and I was like, who would ever have thought that? You know, and used a lot of brands that weren't mainstream brands, which probably a lot of, like, makeup artists use on their, um, I was going to say patients because I'm a nurse, but, you know, um, clients. Yeah, let's go there. So, I am glad I went. Now, will I go again? Will I buy another ticket? Probably not. Only if he's back in LA, you know, um, he's doing somebody's makeup that I really like. Um, I learned a little, you know, I learned some from the class, but they're not techniques that I'm going to use because I don't have five hours to do my makeup. Um, he's great at what he does. Kim's makeup was great, of course. Um, he was a very good teacher and I am happy that I went, but, you know, with all of that being said, you know, it was a great experience. Will I go back? Eh, we'll have to see. So, 
I hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed this kind of video. I've been waiting around to kind of film it and keeping all these products. So, I, you know, I haven't used any of them. So now I'm excited that I actually get to use some of them. So um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Um, if you've been to a class and you've had the same experience I have or if you've had a different experience, please let me know about it. I'm pretty sure it was a coupon. I'm 99% sure it was a coupon. I wish I wouldn't have thrown it away, but I did. So, um... If you're interested in these types of videos, I do do makeup tutorials as well and reviews and things like that. So please subscribe and hit that notification button if you're interested when I upload more videos. And I love you and I will see you guys next time. Bye!